Hello my loves. Today we have a, another new declutter. Can you see me in this? Like, hello. This is not supposed to be in there. That must have fallen out of my other drawer. Today we are doing a declutter on Cardi's, which is this drawer right here. We can see it almost fits well, but I want to take everything out and just get rid of everything I'm not using, gift it to friends and family, and anything brand new or easily sanitized will go to charity. I've also got some loose powders that I talked about last time in my last declutter, which was foundations, concealers. I will link that video down below if you want to watch it. Here is a little sneak peek of some of the products. And some more up here. So we're gonna take everything out, give the drawer a quick wipe down, and then put it back together and I'll talk about what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of. So lots of fun fast forward sounds. This drawer is really concerning me. This is all my bronzers and as you can clearly tell, it's a little bit of a mess. So we're gonna really cull this down, make some room for new stuff and put everything in its rightful place. Cause I can already see a few things in here that don't belong in here, like setting powders. That looks like another setting powder. So those are supposed to be obviously up here. We'll get to that as we get to it. I'm gonna start with this straw here and um, take everything out and go from there. So let the fast forward sounds commence. I hope you guys love it and if you do please thumbs up this video so I know that you do and also it'll really help me out and help me get my videos out there some more. Alright, so that's about as clean as we're getting for now. I kind of need to like take these out and give them a quick like spray paint again just because they do get worn away. These are like handmade. I get all of my makeup storage done by a kitchen joiner, if that makes sense. Um, so it's all like real heavy duty. But anyway, so I'm going to go through my parties. I'm going to be incredibly cutthroat. I'm also going to put some of my like little compact, what are these called? Cushion foundations? Is that what they're called? Yes. I'm gonna put some of them into here as well. I need to pick like which ones I want because remember I loved this one by MAC, the limited edition Studio Perfect Hydrating Compact. Then there's this one, the Spring Review one. And then I've also got, I don't know where they are. I've got some more though as well that I can move into here. Maybe they're in the um, drawer above, but I might just pop them in here just so that they've got a space because they don't really fit anywhere else or I might move them up the top. Like, can I put them up here? Like, I guess I could pop them up here somewhere. You can't really see, but if you watched my last video, you get an idea of where that is. Let's start with a couple of powders I'm really loving lately. My Nabla one's gonna keep both because I've got light and medium. So we'll put those there. And then if I get out all of my MAC ones, because these are the ones I use all the time, I've got a few of these. And to be honest, like this one I don't use as much, but I really want to, because it's meant to be really lightweight, the water weight one. So I'm going to keep it. It's in the shade extra light though. I think that's why I don't really reach for it. Mm, you know what? We need to be cutthroat. So I'm going to get rid of this. And what do we have here? NC20. C3, C2, and C35. So my darkest one. So we'll go darkest, second darkest, and then the lighter ones. And I will always, always, always go through these. So that is absolutely fine to keep those. I'm definitely going to keep my Nikia Joy Cosmetics loose powder. In fact, I might end up moving some of the powders from this very top drawer, like my mineral foundations and stuff. Because to be honest, I like should really have like these ones, my fit cover ones inside of my you know powder drawer because they are powders. These ones I use specifically only under my eyes, so I'll keep those ones there. And you know what? Actually, I might put my Nikia Joy one up there because I only really use this under the eyes as well. So she can live up there. That's a really good powder. And then these fit cover ones, I guess, can just 
to go somewhere for now. We also have this Nabla translucent powder, which do I keep it? I'm going to put it in with all of these translucent powders for now and we'll go through those soon. I'm not too sure which ones I will keep. Same with some other translucent powders I have. We'll organize them soon. I have Too Faced Cream Puff and Too Faced Almond. I feel like I'll keep Almond because it's more yellow, whereas if I show you Cream Puff, I've used this a few times, but you can see it's a little bit like pinker, so it's not really my perfect match. Um, so I think I'll switch over to using Almond. This Mel Gipping um, powder I love. It's a Chinese brand and it's so like brightening and beautiful. And I just tried this Bite one, which I will link down below. This was so nice as well, and it really like melted into my skin. I have a brand new sealed no sebum powder, which I'll get rid of. So I've already got this one, but I don't really use these anymore. They are so good though. Do I need to like use it some more? And I should really try out this one. Have I used this? Oh, look, I must have. You know what? I'm gonna keep this now and try it again just because these are really good and I can't remember what I thought of this. I know this one's good. I don't use it very often, but we'll keep them both for now. They kind of fit nicely in here as well, out of the way. What else do I have here? I've got this Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder which you can see I've not even used. This is in the shade Fair. So I might keep that and give it a go. Could be good for like a first impression or something. I've also got my Peach Blur Powder, which is really nice around the sides of the face and everything to brighten. It's a little bit more unique. So I think that's also quite a good one to keep. I'm gonna put all my square powders just here. Looks kind of cute. And this is annoying me how it's like dusty. So I'm just gonna run around with this, clean it up. Should really be cleaning off all the foundation but honestly it's so much effort <laughs> you guys know how much i absolutely love cover effects powders i've got one in n10 and g20 so g20 is more my fake tan n10's more like my pale shade so they can stay i've got this illuminating mineral veal which i keep meaning to try as well from bare minerals because of the word illuminating i can't even remember if i've tried it yet is this new no it doesn't look new i must have tried it but I can't really remember once again what I thought of it. So that can also stay for now. But I think I'll like end up changing my mind about that. Oh, I've got another one in it, the shade Light of the Jouer, which looks like more of a medium skin tone. <laughs> Maybe I will get rid of the pale one and go for the shade Light. And I've also got this Illuminizer Translucent Beauty Powder by Urban Decay. And you can see I've used it. It's got like a little bit of a shimmer in it. I feel like I might give this to someone else because I don't reach for that and I prefer a little bit of coverage. I'm going to get rid of this too because it's smashed. This is just a little cheapy essence matte powder. And I've also got this blur powder by EG Lips. I think it's a Korean brand, but I'll get rid of that too. I have my Wonder powder by Makeup Store. This stuff's so nice. I need to really use some different powders in some of my looks because... I always use this. So like why am I keeping any others? Like I need to make an effort to actually try some more of these ones again though. Because I do really like this stuff. It's so nice. We have a Smashbox Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. Have I used this? I feel like I've swatched it like on my finger. There's a little fingerprint but I haven't used it. I might as well get rid of that. I'm definitely going to keep my Charlotte Tilbury powder foundation like stuff. I really like that. It's quite luxury. We've got Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder by Milani, which I might get rid of. The color doesn't look quite right, even though the like name of it really intrigues me. It's just a little bit like pinky probably. And I think I'm going to get rid of this Dream Matte Powder because it's so old. I've had this in my collection for far too long. Same with these two products. They've been in here for a long time and this one's very old as well. I just don't really reach for it and I don't know, I just feel like I should probably just get rid of it. I think I'll keep my Light Beige Australis powder just as a drugstore. <coughs> Jesus, there's alternative. Alright, we've got three CoverGirl foundation powders. So I'm just going to keep the shades that suit me better, which are classic Ivory. I've got two here. Well, I only need one of them. The other one is in the shade Buff Beige, but I feel like, like I can make it work, but I just feel like it's a little bit too, like, orangey. But I just feel like colors of other powders would be better. So, here's the lighter one, which is a good match. And then I have this All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder, which, should I use this? I feel like it looks quite, like, pinky when I swatch it on my finger once again. I might just give it to a friend. And then I've got two of these, Bear Pro by Bear Minerals, Warm Light, 
brush looks like that. And then light natural. I feel like these have kind of oxidized since I purchased them. I might get rid of those. They are quite old. I bought them in America maybe like three years ago, two years ago, three years ago. And then we have this It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination, which looks like this. I might get rid of it. I don't reach for it. And then I've got three of the Hello Happies. Do I keep these? I do really like this stuff. I might just keep shades two and three, which are like probably the best shades that I would use the most often. And then I'll get rid of shade four. I just find that if I've got heaps of A10 on the MAC ones, usually work the best. So that's all of those. And we have some other loose powders that perhaps some might fit in here. I'm not too sure. I feel like they don't all. I'm going to get rid of this Marc Jacobs one because the packaging just kind of like annoys me. I don't mind the powder, but I'll give it to someone else to enjoy. I've also got this Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. Have I used this yet? I feel like I may not have. Oh, wait, I must have. I don't know. I might get rid of it. I've got this Hourglass and Veal one, which does fit in here. Which makes me want to keep it, but I might give that somewhere else. Um, my Nabla baking and setting powder. I might keep that because I haven't got a translucent one yet. We'll pop it here. I've got the um, Laura Mercier one as well. Do I keep that? Ugh. Why can't they make them in smaller packages so they can fit in here? I can take this out. Do I do that? These ain't gonna fit. I'm gonna get rid of the Anastasia ones because they're just gigantic. I'm never gonna even use it all, so I might as well get rid of it. And then I've got my Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, which is one of my favorite translucent ones, so I'll probably keep that one. Or do I keep the Peach Perfect? Because that's another one that I love. It makes it like all nice and pretty. Okay, okay. And then I've got the Sugar Cookie and Cupcake Brightening Under Eye Baking Powders. I might just keep Cookie, I mean Cupcake, because Cookie is more of just like a translucent, and I've already kept a couple, whereas this one's a little bit more unique, the cupcake, because it's a pinkish kind of glow. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna do that, force it in there. <laughs> and then I've got a backup of the translucent Born This Way. Wait, is this smaller? Oh no, that's totally the same size, isn't it? So, there we go. And that gets all of the big, huge powders off of my, like desktop I guess and we might find some more setting powders yet I might just put all of these fit cover ones back here because they are a um like mineral foundation I wish I had something to fit in here it's just so like awkward to look at so that's that and then I have all of this stuff so I'll take all of this out and I'm going to be cut through it once again with all of this stuff So I do have some more powders, another studio fix, so in here, and then I also have this Urban Decay powder, which I love, I freaking broke it, so, oh, so annoying, um, I might just tip out the broken bits, nah, the whole fucking thing fell out, ah, and it crumbled everywhere, I'm gonna repurchase, like, and just see if I can get one that doesn't break. That broke so easy. <laughs> but I really liked it. I did try it in a video. I will link it down below for you. <sighs> That's so freaking annoying. Holy shit. Okay, anyways. It's annoying me how there's like an odd number here. I might just get rid of this Jouet. <laughs> but it looks kind of pretty. What should I get rid of? Oh my god, don't tell me. Where did that fly? Swear to God, I have the friggin' bathroom window open because there's a praying mantis in there and this friggin' fly came in and I've got the door shut. It's the only window that's open. Got this one. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Just so that <laughs> these are all fitting nicely because I am weird like that. So if you hear a fly, I sincerely apologize. All right, let's go through some bronzes and things. So first off, I can see a few hulas. Right, so I've done a little mini organize, like you can see. I've got two Tarte bronzers, Hotel Heiress and Parquet Princess. And I actually really like, oh, 
No, I might get rid of Hotel Aries. Wait, there's another one too. Here it is. This is the one I thought this was. So I'm going to get rid of this one but keep these two, which are Parquet of Princess, the shimmery one. I really like that. And I've also got this um, Parquet of Princess, just the regular one. Wait, should I be rotating this around? I feel like I do need to. And then we have some Too Faced ones here. So obviously I'm never going to get rid of this, even though it's probably expired by now, but it's my favorite, Sweet Tea. It's a huge favorite of mine. I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't reach. Oh, should I though? Because I'm really getting into bronze. Nah, I was going to get rid of that, but I think I'll keep it because I'm loving creamy products. Then we have Milk Chocolate Sole, which I actually love, but I never reach for lately because I reached for this instead and I feel like because I kept this one even though I love 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 this I'm gonna give that to a friend and I'll keep this chocolate gold sole instead and it's dark and shimmery it's really nice with a big tan and then the hulas I love all of these I've got this mini hula um, which I'll give to a friend. It's good for traveling. That's why I kept it. I'm like, oh, I'll keep it for travel. But you know what? Like, Shannon, come on. I just don't need to have that many. But Hula's amazing. Caramel is my favorite. To be fair, I do use it more often in my little palette that Benefit did. But that's limited edition. So I kind of just want to keep this. Wait, why isn't it fitting off? The packaging's bent. And we have Hula Light, which, to be honest, I never reach for. So I'm going to give that to someone else. All right, so far, so good. We got. Uh, rid of a few. I might get rid of my Anastasia one. Beautiful shade, but I just, ow, I can't reach for it. I am going to get rid of my Fit Me one. I don't reach for that anymore. I'm just going to grab a few, like, similar, like, cost ones, like MAC, Becca. I mean, my sales are expensive, but I'm just going to go through, like, some comparable priced items ish. <laughs> high end. I'll just say high end. Oh, I've got this too, which I loved. The Pineapple Sun, so pretty. Um, it's like a glowy bronzer. This is going to be a maybe. I'm going to stick it in the corner because I do love it. But I've kept so many Too Faced bronzers. Too Faced bronzers are probably some of my favorite. Givenchy. I've got this Jouet thing. Okay, we'll start here. There's probably some more high-end ones. But anyway, so this is a duo. Beautiful. I'm going to get rid of it because I just don't reach for it. And you can see the problem here. There's a lot. Radiant Bronze Light. One of my holy grails, I'll probably keep that still. And then we've got my other one, which is Nude Bronze Light. I do like Radiant Bronze Light more, and I might just keep that at the stage because, like, I would often reach for that one over the other one. We've also got this Hourglass Sheer Color Trio in Sunset. This is a creamy product, which I might keep because, once again, I'm really into creams lately, and I haven't used that in a long time, and I probably should. Then we've also got this, um, what is it called? Saharian, like, cream bronzer by YSL, which I might get rid of since I've just kept this one. I've also got some stick bronzers and stuff too. Then I have shade two of the Givenchy. Oh god. It's broken. This one broke because I used it so much. It kind of, like, split down, like, the most used part. Shade two. And then I've also got this one. I think this is the newer packaging, so maybe I'll just keep the new packaging one and give that to a friend if they want that broken one um and then we've also got barley sands by becca these are really nice as well i might keep that for a lighter one because it's yeah like a lighter tone than a lot of these other ones that i've kept so far and then we have nars laguna which i feel like i should just keep because it's nars laguna i reach for it sometimes still to be fair i've also got this tom ford one it is the gold dust and this one is actually like super beautiful. It's kind of comparable to this one probably. Um, but a little bit more like orangey. I might still keep it because it's bougie. And then I have Global Glow, which I'll keep. Um, so I like that one when I just want something like ridiculously glowy. All right, um, we'll do some more like high end, mid range. Oh, I've got my Charlotte Tilbury contour and glow, which I'll definitely keep. Oh my gosh, this is Ancient Sun Touch by Makeup Store. I've probably owned this for literally like six or seven years, so I actually probably should throw that away, but I'll just chuck it in the friends pile for now in case anyone still wants to try it. And then I've got the Matte Bronzer in Carbo by Girl Like Dig. This is such a nice color because it's like a, I don't know how to describe, like a kind of greenier undertone or something rather than like orange. I don't know if you can still get that. I might get rid of the J.Lo one, even though it's really nice. It's just kind of like standard. We've got Buxom Tahiti, 
which is a stunning one but I think I'll probably use this one once again over there and it's a very similar product. We've got the Invisible Bronze by Bare Minerals which I really like but I've kept my Hourglass one and it's kind of the same thing. Got my makeup, this is once again like ancient but I just want to keep it because there's no product like it. It's called a Wonder Powder in the shade Gobi. It's kind of like a shiny powder but it's like a face setting powder but I use it for like a bronzer kind of powder. It's just like stunning. I don't know. I don't even use it very often, but I should probably make an effort to try and use some more of it up, even though it's probably expired. I've got some Kylie bronzes here. That one's Tahiti, and then this one is Toasty, but I mean, I don't really need them. I do like Kylie's face powders quite a bit, though. And I also have these contour thingies in Light and Fair by Huda Beauty. I wonder if I should give them another go now that I really like to use creams. Let me just check the colors. Maybe I'll just keep the lighter one. Like, this one's like very intense. I really like the ColourPop bronzers, but once again, like, this is limited edition, so I'll probably just give it to a friend because it sucks when I'm using limited edition stuff on, like, you know, beauty videos and then no one can get it. This is a City Bronzer in Light Cool by Maybelline, which I might keep for a drugstore drug option. I don't know why I just said drugstore. And I might keep this for a drugstore option contour as well. This is by Rimmel. I really like that. I think I'll get rid of this bronzer. I don't reach for it by the bar. And I've got these designer brands, Glowy Bronzers, which I might just donate as well, or sorry, give to friends. And then we've got all these. I might keep this since there's a nice little spot for him right there. And then I've got all these like stick things. So, I might keep this as a drugstore cream one. This is by Maybelline. It's actually decent. I really like that. Then I've got my Smashbox in Venice Beach bronze, like creamy, contoury bronzer product. I've got my Do The Hula Quickie contour stick. I really like, like most of these. I've used most of these frequently. Contour by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I've also got the contour by Charlotte Tilbury and... What's that one? Curvy Contour by Clinique. And the Do The Hula, which I also like. I might get rid of the Peri Peri one because I haven't used that one as much. And then I've also got this Terracotta Spray by Guerlain. Should I give this another go or give it away? I might just give it away. Like, I don't reach for it. Can't be bothered being, like, fussed with it, you know? So there you have it. We've got some bronzers, shimmery, matte, lighter and darker. Some contour products. Looks kind of weird with all those down there, but whatever, I don't know what works better. And then we have these like contour kits, creams, and like bigger powders. So, oh shit, that doesn't fit there. Fits in the next one over. So, bronzer and powder. I got rid of heaps. They were like overflowing, like I've gotten rid of at least all that many bronzers, plus some, and then quite a few powders as well. I might do one more drawer with you guys. All right, so this is my bottom drawer with some random bits and bobs in it and then the other one so I've started putting tans in here like you can see because the other drawer I had my tans in gets real heavy and then it collapses but I'm actually thinking long term and you'll see this in vlogs I'm going to clean out my hallway cupboard and I think I'm going to put it in there because there's heaps of beauty stuff in my hallway cupboards but like it's all mumble jumbled so I think I'm going to buy some like containers and things and actually have all my tans like in the hallway cupboard organized nicely just because it's like a really good space for stuff like that and yeah if that makes sense so I'm just gonna like straighten all this up just so that it's a bit tidier and then I might just get rid of a few of like these I don't reach for these like ever I've got a mitt here so that's fine I've got some little rhinestones in a packet I'm gonna keep this because I like to take and like reuse these packets for rhinestones and things when I travel so I might just put that somewhere else though I'll give this to a friend I'll probably give that to a friend. And I want to do something with these one day. What do you guys suggest? Like, what could I use these for? Could I use them for a makeup look? Or what do you reckon? They're like little dried flowers. And then I've got these tart ones I'll give away. And I'm going to give away these. And here are some more things from festivals. I'll probably donate those. I won't really use those. There's heaps of like bits and bobs, you know? I'm going to get rid of this boob tape. I'm going to donate it. Because when I used it, it just wasn't that effective. I do have a first impression and does it work video up on this. I will link it down below for you if you want to go watch it. And my Skims one just arrived. It took like a month to arrive, if not longer. Like how effed up is that? I like literally forgot about it. I ordered it for a video because you guys want to see it. That can go in the wash. So yeah, I need to 
you know, do that video and see if it's any better than that boob tape because I wasn't very impressed with it. I'm just going to put all these bits and bobs in here. It's a nice mixing to off the... Oh, I got rid of that. Alright, and then I've got some of these in my like top drawer. This one's actually like almost empty and it's like filthy so I might just get rid of that one now. I might get rid of these glitters because I prefer my mixed ones not like just ones that are one color I might give them to my nail lady because she'll be able to use them for nail art that way we're not wasting any I'm about to vacuum my floor so I've just put the glitter on the floor which sounds crazy but um yeah I've got urban decay powder all over the floor so I've just kind of tipped the glitter on top I'm gonna vacuum this room after this these in here I've also got a couple of like the perfect ones which I'll use I might just like take them out of the plastic and I've got some like body glitters and things I don't really know how to go about this I might get rid of that LA girl one that I don't reach for these things mm. I might try to like move most things down and then just have like fake tan up here One moment, I'll just get some more. Alright, we've got Loving Tan. How's this gonna fit? That kind of fits well. Most of my Bondi scents is in my bathroom right now. I've got those. Um, this is the one I use most often, but this is the new one I started using. And then we have a bunch of other Loving Tan and Be Perfect. This one's lost his lid. Um, okay, what else? Do I put in some like gradual tanners in here? I'm gonna get rid of a couple. I'll get rid of that. I've got my Loving Tan Deluxe Gradual and my Eco Tan Gradual, which I do like. People always ask me to review it. Um, I prefer like these kinds of tans more, but I still, yeah, I still appreciate it. It's still like a good product for a gradual one. I think most of the others are instant. Let's have a look. Put some instant ones down here. stuff doesn't fit very nicely here so I'm kind of starting to layer but you know what what if I feel like I need to get rid of some this is a body fragrance so maybe I can put that by my perfumes maybe I can take these out of the boxes what's this one gold lights bronze lights let me just look at pearl lights because I would normally go for like a darker color because if this is a bit too like light and champagne or something I might give it to a friend Oh no, that's still pretty and that'd be really pretty on like when I've got no fake tan on. Whoops, I just dropped the freaking seal in there somewhere. I don't even know where it went. Mm, I feel like I might get rid of this body oil and then I might get rid of the Frank. I've got my soles. I've got this other oil. I've got this fake tan mask which I'll give to someone else. Um, okay. I need to finish up this and finish up that and then we'll have more space just pop that in there shall we right that's the declutter done I'll show you what I got rid of shall I here's everything I am getting rid of so underneath there is heaps and heaps of powders and bronzes boob tape glitters and some like tanning products as well some of these are used some of them are new so I need to sort out what I'm gonna donate and the rest is just going to go to families and friends to have a look through so I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter video next up we are into a really fun drawer which is like some pigments um liquid eyeshadows mascaras eyeliners brow products primers like eye primers heaps of fun stuff and then after that we've got like highlighters and blushes and palettes and stuff like that so lots of exciting declutters coming I hopefully won't have as much of a gap between this one and the next one and the one after that so get excited and I'll talk to you guys soon Bye.